Hi, I'm Meredith Hodges, and welcome to the Lucky Three Ranch Training Tips. When grooming is a weekly routine, it doesn't take as long, and it's much healthier for your equine's hair coat. How you feed will greatly affect the condition of your equine's hair coat. As the seasons change, so will the tools you use for grooming. Sometimes you need to use them all, other times just the hairbrush and the baby oil. During our most inclement weather in winter and spring, the equine will naturally grow a nice thick hair coat to protect him from the cold and rain. Often, the equines will not use their shelters, but will stand out in the weather. Later, you might see them actually use their shelter. I believe this is how they self-clean their coats, like taking a shower. Even though donkey hair is not supposed to shed water as easily as horses and mules, they will get under the shelters when they really need to do it. They are quite intelligent animals. During the winter months, I allow their bridle paths to grow out. I use the shedding blade only where there is mud and dirt. Then I follow up across their whole body with a multi-bristled human hairbrush. It will go deep into the skin through their long hair. The hairbrush is also a therapeutic tool that will not only remove skin deep dirt, but will stimulate the skin and promote better circulation, enhancing the health of the hair coat. I apply Johnson's baby oil to the manes and tails. It keeps them soft and prevents knotting. It will also prevent them from chewing on each other's manes and tails. This promotes mane and tail health and allows for more growth. This is often difficult with mules and donkeys, especially their manes. During the spring months, mud becomes a nightmare. I used to try to remove it with a shedding blade, but it took hours. I finally figured out if I left the animals to their own devices, they would get most of the mud off themselves in a day or two. Then I could go in and groom any mud that was left. That was a whole lot easier. Of course, you have to be willing to forego riding once in a while. When they're covered in mud, the mules just look at you as if to say, Who? Me? Such a wonderful sense of humor. Don't fight it. Just laugh. I use my equine vacuum cleaner in the winter and spring to get deep into their coats and remove the dirt that the human hairbrush has loosened. The vacuum cleaner is an excellent stimulant for the hair coat. It is even more useful and productive than massage for any animals that have a large crest that needs to be reduced. Extended work with a hairbrush on an enlarged crest also promotes better circulation and softens the fatty tissue. This helps to reduce the crest as well. I make sure to introduce the equines to the vacuum cleaner with the promise of a reward for standing still. Rewards are always appropriate for the task of standing still. Pausing to allow the equine time to chew his reward prevents anxiety from anticipation of what is to come next. When the weather becomes consistently warmer, I will clip their bridle paths so the bridle will not become entangled with their mane. I do not body clip them unless I am showing. The equine's hair coat will insulate him from the summer heat and protect him from any insects. If he gets any sores, I catch them during weekly grooming and treat them with Neosporin. We needed to remove some sarcoids surgically, but we have successfully treated a number of them with Xterra. Once a year in mid-July, when it is the hottest, I give all my equines their summer bath to remove all the dirt that has accumulated over the year. I rinse with water using the shedding blade and only wash the manes and tails with Tresemme shampoo and condition with Aussie Three Minute Miracle. The easiest time to cut off the ergots that grow at the pasterns is during a bath because they are at their softest. I do have to cut them more than once a year, 
but they are a bit harder and require sharp scissors when they're dried out. Luckily, it takes a while for them to grow back out. When I'm going to work individual animals after grooming, I bring them up to the workstation at the tack barn. When I just do group grooming of the herd, I fill a bucket with a wet towel for cleaning eyes, ears, and nostrils, a shedding blade for removing mud, my human hairbrush for shedding the whole body and doing manes and tails with Johnson's baby oil, small clippers to do the bridle path every other week, a hoof pick as needed, neosporin for any sores, and a dandy brush for finishing. I can get through 12 mules, four donkeys, and a miniature horse in two short hours during the shedding season, and once they are mostly shed out, an hour and a half or less. Keep in mind that the horses shed early in the spring. Mules generally are not fully shed out until June or even July and donkeys not until August. They all begin to grow back their heavy hair coats for winter in September. Of course, this can vary a bit with climate in your area. In the summer, we fly spray once a week with Farnham TriTech 14. When you employ this simple weekly grooming plan, their hair coats remain soft and shiny, even during the long hair winter months. They do tend to get bald spots from rubbing during the shedding season, but this is the only time they actually look a little rough. Generally speaking, a little time spent on grooming once a week makes for healthy and happy long ears. Happy trails!